Hello everyone, this is Polygon Wizard, and welcome back to Minecraft. We're sitting here in the kitchen under the tavern where we ended up last time, but today we're going to work elsewhere. I have a couple of things to show you down here, and we're going to go do some building outside, get away from this tavern for a while. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, this episode is going to be a little bit different. I completed all of my recording before realizing my microphone did not get recorded, sadly. But instead of wasting the footage, we're going to move on and record voiceover afterwards. So this isn't live, I'm going to do my best to remember. So I was just showing you that the kitchen is still the same as last time, those shelves are blank. But back here we've added some stuff. So Joette's suggested that I have a manager's office down here. So that's what we're going to do in the future. We're not going to do that in this episode. So I'm showing you why it has to be narrow how I have it dug out because this is the base of the pyramid for our fountain beacon that we have up above us right now. So we can only go back so far this way before running into that. And instead of making everything down here gold in the ceiling, although I guess I could do that, we decided, I decided to go narrow and that way it pushes back kind of where this tunnel I have is anyway that goes to the bottom of the potion shop right now and that's it. Eventually we'll have this wide network, I'm sure. But we might do, say, a painting in the wall that covers it, like we did in my last world. Or we might do some sort of redstone secret door contraption thingy. I've never really done one of those, so that might be cool. We'll do that in the future. And this here is going to be our large ice box, walk-in freezer thingy. So this is where you store all of your meats and other things that need to be frozen. And so, I don't know, it figured it, like it was something that this kitchen area needed was a walk-in freezer. So we're going to do that in the future as well. I need to get some packed ice before I can do that the way I want to do it. Because then I can do lighting and not worry about it melting like regular ice. So I have to go find me one of those ice spike biomes and collect some stuff. But anyway, what we're doing today is going to be out here. You see I've got a little build chest over there and some cobble laid out. This is going to be our lumber mill. If you remember during some of our planning phases, I had lumber mill down on the list of to-dos and it was set up to be over there across the river. So I put a few cobble things there to kind of get the placement where I wanted it because I've designed this building already. And what we're going to do is my very first time lapse in single player. Woo! If you haven't heard of it, there is a new mod that was just released within the last week or so. I don't remember exactly the first day it came out, but the Minecraft Replay mod, which you can find at replaymod.com, very easy. It is something that lets you make cinematic stuff, and one of the things that makes it really easy to do is time lapses, especially in single player, because you don't have to worry about hooking another account into your single player world or trying to set up a server on your own computer and everything bogging down and not working very well. What this lets you do is you play and it records all of the stuff just like any sort of replay feature in other games might have. And then you go back into the editor and then you can add camera paths and change the timing so that you could do super slow-mo if you wanted. You could keep everything real time or you can speed it up and do time lapses. This is what I'm going to do today's episode. So this is kind of the front or actually technically the side wall and the water wheel that I have laid out with the cobble. And right here I'm pointing as like maybe this is where a storage, small storage warehouse where the planks could go. In the future we might get rid of this hill. And then on the opposite side of the building is where all the logs come in, which you will see later when we actually get building. So it's kind of a longer building where the logs get fed in one side and planks come out the other. It's purely decorative at this point. We will also at some point have to come over here and build actual like places for trees to grow and storage for things that's more practical than our beautiful build we're going to be doing today. <laughs> so I'm pointing out back there is probably where we'll put some tree fields. I don't know. We can figure that out in the future. 
So, let's see. We're going back across the river, I think, to give you an overview look. Yeah. So you'll get a better look at this later when it's actually built. It'll be more pretty than just, you know, a plus sign of cobble with a glowstone in the middle. <laughs> so, I think here, I'm, in the original footage, I was talking about the replay mod, but I've already done that. And I was talking about how it's still messing with it at that point. I wasn't sure if it's going to work or not. And if we did get it to work, it would be awesome. And if we didn't, we'd have tears. But, since this is now after the fact, and I know that it worked, we're just going to go ahead and roll that sweet, sweet time-lapse music.
What's that, Captain Armistand? You say that we have a new view across the river over here from the castle? And if we look to the desert, it's not going to be quite as boring as it used to be? Well, let's go. Let's go look and see what we've got, okay? Alright, now that we're up here in this tower, we can look at it and look, our lumber mill looks so pretty. It's cool to have a building over there and not just, you know, nothing. So let's actually walk down here and go across the river. We'll get up there it's a little bit of a funny way. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> let's just jump the walls. Ouch. Shins. Pain. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And I'm pointing out here that there's a few things we're going to clean up. Like at the very top of there in the time lapse, I forgot to add the walls. So we're going to grab a few materials here. We're going to go do a little clean up there. Plus clean up a bit of the interior off camera. I may not keep as much as I did live just because you guys don't necessarily need to see all of that and all of my derping around not jumping properly onto dirt blocks I mean come on who is this guy <laughs> so yeah I was talking about here uh, we've got some open gaps that I leave which um I believe yeah in the footage I did this wrong but I fixed this since and made it like the other side where the log goes straight up the middle still but the practical reason up here is there's a lot of sawdust that a lumber mill is going to kick up, so I'm keeping some of these upper, oh, excuse me, upper windows all nice and open. They're skinny, but they're cool, so some sawdust can get out. And same with some of the ones on the bottom where there's fences instead of cutting it off with glass. My imaginary reason was for all this imaginary sawdust, so it can get out as much as possible so that it's not all trapped indoors. <laughs> so yes, you can open up the fence gates. Very good, Mr. Past Me. <laughs> Alright, so we're talking about we've got some gear works. You can see that a little bit better in the time lapse than what you've got with protection here with all of the windows in. When I was building, you can see kind of how it was made up of all the stairs and some cobble walls. Simple, but just putting stairs in different orientations can make stuff look different and cool. And here we got our saw blade. We need to get some glass to fix the bottom of it because I didn't have enough pieces because I miscounted like a fool. <laughs> but I like how this turned out. I tried a bunch of things to figure out what I wanted to do for a saw in here. I tried something where I'd have some different mechanics and gears and stuff that would make it more of an up and down saw instead of a rotary one and then I tried different things for a rotary one like this and well I think the one I came up with I like the best the glass gives it a nice skinny look and it almost looks like it's actually spinning like you've taken a freeze frame and it is in motion I guess motion lines motion blur all that funness but you've got the log coming in the one side and the planks coming out the other. And we're putting a couple torches for lighting in here. Trying to put the stairs in and failing. <laughs> there you go. Rotate it around. Do the same on the other side. And the reason I'm doing this is we haven't done as much building on camera lately. We've done a few little things. Especially in the last one with the kitchen, but we haven't done a lot of it. And so I decided to do two flavors this episode. Time lapse and some building on camera. A little bit of cleanup work. Plus, you know, you don't really get to see people building in the ceilings very much. Which is what I'll do here in a moment. So, once we do that, you get a little chance to see how I like to clean up the insides. Instead of keeping all those hard right angles from the backs of the stairs from the roof, I go in and put upside down ones. And I also do a bunch of parkour fail here, trying to jump on this dangerous uh, saw blade with something above my head that doesn't work. <laughs> so basically up here we're going to put line it with some upside down stairs and then put some slabs at the top so we don't see the stone brick. And then we were also going to put in a beam. So with the magic of fancy fading and your editing, here's the beam. <laughs> which I'd messed up a couple of blocks, but there you go. 
It just looks like a nice support up here in this style of an open ceiling that's kind of vaulted. And then I cut out a bunch of blobbing around where I didn't do a whole lot of anything. And then here we're adding a few more beams where I talked about I changed the design of what I wanted the interior to look like. So those stairs were in there, but then I changed my mind wanted a beam. So I added those, even though I built it the other way in the time lapse. That way it gets a little bit more variety of texture in here, and it still ties it all together. And for these, I decided to put them up one block higher so we could have a little stair support. Don't worry, I'll get back there and add that other beam I was going to do in a minute. <laughs> but here you go. Do the same here. Put the co not cobble, the stone brick stairs in there for support. And voila, we have a pretty interesting looking room with different ceiling heights. And in here, I'm lining this part of the room with some stairs to kind of give it a cool edging in the ceiling to make it even more interesting to look at. But I forgot that I didn't want them on the beam. So I started there and I was like, whoops, never mind. Let's go back and hop on this stuff a million times. Man, you wouldn't think it would be really tricky, but it having that half slabbed floor makes everything a little bit more fun where I have to jump up on that stupid row of planks or logs if it's on the other side of the room and it just doesn't work sometimes because I'm not paying attention. But there you go. It goes straight into the beam and it gives it a nice look and then we line this sort of open foyer area the entrance with just a basic you know square or circle of stairs so you get that nice little kind of cone look I guess. I don't know. It makes it more interesting than just being flat, basically, is why I did it. So you get a, another chance to see that over here as well. I had the little divider beam between the two sections of the room. And then we're going to put stairs in this small 3x3 three three area. Basically just rotating around and click, click, click. There you go. And then up here we're going to do the same that we did in the other room, except this time I remembered and started with just the stair going into the beam and not going across it. So hopefully you can see this on YouTube and it's not too dark. Alright, I cut out a little bit of footage there where I was just putting some slabs down in dark areas to hopefully keep creepers and zombies and stuff out of our lumber mill. And right now I'm talking about how I imagine the river goes. So it goes down to our ocean down by the watchtower there which means it would push our water wheel kind of clockwise in this direction and the water would go kind of over the top and down the right side which is why I picked that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really love putting the time lapse together. The replay mod is pretty awesome. You can do some cool stuff with it. So expect to see me doing some more with it in the future. So please leave a comment about what you thought about everything this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next episode.